Kite boarders or not, a kite trip across the St. Vincent and the Grenadines in the Caribbean is indeed a journey in paradise. It's about escaping the cold winter, experiencing new spots every day, kite surfing till the sunset, swimming with the turtles, meeting the locals, and spending the time of your life with your friends and family or new friends. The best period for the Grenadines kite cruise is during dry season from December till May, during which time weather is sunny, water is warm, and winds are reliable, exactly what you want. With wind strength between 15 and 25 knots, you might use kite sizes between 9 and 14 meters. Outside this period, air temperatures and humidity rise and winds get lighter. The Grenadine Islands provide amazing spots for kiteboarding, from totally flat spots to more choppy and wavy as well, catering to your preferences. Spots are safe and you get briefed on possible dangers. And the scenery? It's just breathtaking. You can launch your kite from sandy beaches close to the boat or straight off the boat. If you want a break, you can easily land your kite on the boat, eat some snacks and continue when ready. Crew will help you do it safely and without any unnecessary swimming. This is the place where you can kite surf among turtles, ride around small sandy islands too small to even land a kite. With crystal clear turquoise waters, you can ride above the reefs or just around the boat so we can do some nice photos and drone footage of you. After each session, you can put a mask on and snorkel around the coral reefs enjoying rich sea life just a few meters away from the boat, or take the stand up and paddle board and make another workout. Or just ask your chef for another rum punch, read a book, and enjoy the view. A good thing about the Grenadines is that the islands are scattered close together, so you get to spend more time on water versus sailing long distances every day to reach them. Spots are versatile and still suited for beginners as well. If you are at least an intermediate rider, you might want to try doing a downwinder, launching from one spot, reaching a new one, and continuing to ride there while being escorted throughout the session to ensure safety. In case you need lessons and the rest of the group doesn't, we have a full-time kite instructor on board, which gives you more flexibility to continue to discover new locations every day without the group having to compromise anything. Lessons are always done one-on-one -on -one to ensure your progress quickly and safely. Besides regular kite gear, we also keep foil boards on board, if this is something you want to try. It's a foil with four different mast sizes with the sole purpose of keeping you safe and progressing with ease. With our instruction and support, it takes less than 20 minutes before your first successful fly ride, and from there, it only goes up, possibly reaching the highest mast by the end of the cruise. How does that sound? A drone is used all the time, capturing your activities in this truly amazing landscape. Each evening you all sit down and enjoy the footage. Private short movies can be edited upon request, making this vacation even more memorable and an easy way to share with your friends. Another good thing in the Grenadines Cruise is that you always have a chance to go ashore. You can always walk across a sandy beach, take some photos of your friends, have a drink from small local bars close by, and find company with like-minded people. On some islands, you can climb a hill and see iguanas everywhere. Some islands are perfect for sunsets, and some are good to buy fresh fruits and vegetables. Regarding food arrangements, Full board is highly recommended in the Grenadines to have a minimal impact on activities and overall itinerary, but half board is also an option and a chance for you to discover even more of the islands and local food. Food is prepared by your chef during your activities and starts with a rich breakfast followed by first snack, lunch, second snack, and dinner. Although this is a kiteboarding cruise, 
Guests tend to describe us as a gastronomical cruise, as we constantly surpass guests' expectations with the food quality and service that we provide. We will ask you to fill out a food preference list in order to avoid serving food that you do not like or if you have some dietary restrictions. During your cruise, we typically go out for one lobster dinner prepared by the locals inside the national park. For sure, an experience you do not want to miss. If you're looking for a good party where the whole island is dancing on the street, then you should for sure book the New Year's period. It is one of a kind. If you miss that one, then you still have a chance to visit one of the full moon beach parties that take place every month with good vibes and a chance to dance organized by Jeremy Tronet. He would also put up a kite show for you to enjoy. You can find a bar open on most locations. A famous one is called Happy Island where you can enjoy the sunset while a chef is preparing dinner. If these islands were easy to reach, everybody would be here, and this would really change the overall experience. Which brings us to the question, how do you get here? Most people prefer flying to Martinique or St. Lucia, which brings you about 100 nautical miles away from the Grenadines, meaning we will still need to sail for 15 hours before reaching the Grenadine Islands. Besides, it is never a boring sail as we use this time to get to know each other, get to know what your expectations are while we're catching fish, sailing with dolphins, and admiring the magnificent pitons of St. Lucia and landscape of St. Vincent. If you're not so keen on sailing down, you can opt to land in Granada or St. Vincent, or ask us to organize a private flight for you to land right on the spot. We'd be happy to answer your questions, so please drop us a line and we'll go from there.